Hey there! Hello and welcome to another exciting new episode of me reviewing a pen, and today we'll have a look at this pen. This is a very fancy pen. It's actually not my pen, it's actually Aziza's pen, but I just stole it for review purposes. And this is the Namiki Yukari Nightline uh, Moonlight. Alright, uh, so... I was just checking if I got the name right, but I actually did. Uh, you see that sparkling stuff that's... Um, I'll come back to that. Came in a very heavy duty bag. Got this at La Couronne du Pont. Uh, big bag, Namiki. Whole bunch of paperwork. If you hear odd screaming outside, that's because it's really strange weather with sort of wet snow and rain combination. So people are cycling through that and having the time of their lives, etc. Nice. Uh, I'm used to calling this stuff rice paper. I'm not sure what it actually is, but it's a very slightly transparent uh, paper. So it has that in it. Has a nice little booklet uh, with filling instructions and such. And not full color, but nice cream colored paper. Um, it actually has a DVD with the pen that has the Namiki logo on it and it goes about the Namiki technique. It says Namiki technique, Namiki shark and Namiki chin kin. Uh, so three uh, featurettes, documentaries I guess. Uh, very interesting because you don't get a lot of uh, pens that... I'm trying to put this back in. Pens that have DVDs with stuff on them with it. Um, as well as a certificate, uh, you know, warranty guarantee etc. Box, big, big box, opens up to reveal a gorgeous, currently untied, but wooden box, a little flap, open that up and you get this box. So it has this nice, what I assume is cotton uh, thing that you can wrap all around it. And when you open it up, it is nice, solid wood. You have the box with little pads to cushion everything. It had a bottle of Namiki Black in it and it has um, what I assume uh, is the signature of the artist, uh, maybe art, yeah, artist who uh, did that, they made the pen, uh, put it all together, etc. Okay, I'm gonna put this stuff out. Let's have a look at that pen. The interesting pen, interesting thing about the pen, of course, uh, is that it has uh, Radin, and it is entirely possible that that is pronounced Radin, and that is that shiny stuff, and that is made from abalone shells, uh, and it's stunning. These pens are very expensive. Uh, you can Google that if you want, but be advised, these are not cheap. I think they're very cool. I'm going to cover the parts of the panel, tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and then I'll do a writing sample. Okay, we start at the top of the cap, there's nothing there. Simple clip with a nice little ball, and it says Namiki and has the Namiki logo on top, right there. The clip is tight, but with the ball, it slips into a pocket relatively easily. You have this beautiful material, and then you have the barrel, and it ends in nothing again cap unscrews and the first thing you will notice when you hold a pen like this is it is not as light as it looks it's actually a fairly robust and I won't say very heavy but it's definitely a very robust pen nice simple section and then it has a gold nib it's 18k gold it says 18k 750m for medium and has an Namiki logo as well as the word Namiki on it and a very cool I think two-tone design with a little wavy line um, I like it. It, uh, it almost looks a bit like a Hamon line, which you get in a samurai sword. You unscrew the barrel, and then you have this big, uh, large capacity converter. Uh, you can't see that very well, I think, but the ink reservoir ends about there. So this is ink reservoir, and this is just um, part of the converter. You push this button, and every time you release it, it draws up a bit more ink. But you can also put in a cartridge if you want. Okay. What do I like about this pen? What do I not like about this pen? As I said, these pens are exclusive. 
this is not a $50 pen uh, and that means that the craftsmanship that you get should be very high right it should be a very well put together pen and I think that is very applicable to this pen it works well it is supposed to not line up here so it's not supposed let me see to look like that it is supposed to look like this the abalone is absolutely stunning it has beautiful colors and or well, you can see it as it reflects in the light marvelous absolutely absolutely fantastic so I love all of that uh, I like the nib the nib writes very well and that's really all I can say about it it's a beautiful pen um, a good size posts well great eye for detail it works well things I don't like so much it is incredibly expensive um, and the only reason I mention that is that this is what you're buying it's a very high-end pen it's an artisan made pen uh, putting rod on something is not something that everyone just does in their attic it requires skill and you pay for that so this is not a pen that you you uh, pick up uh, very easily but if you're looking for something really stunning I would say this is a very very interesting option okay having said that you want to see how this pen writes and um, I'm going to do a writing sample if you want to know measurements of the pen weight etc that will be on the website sbrebrown.com uh, and uh, what I would like to mention is that I bought this pen at La Couronne du Comte. In the post on the website will be a banner you can click. And bear in mind that you can get a 10% discount on pens that you buy there. Alright, that will all be in the post. So go to the website, you can figure that out. Let's do a writing sample. Hope this was useful so far. And I'm glad to see you later. Bye bye. Okay, so here we go with this very pretty. Namiki Yukari uh, this is the Nightline Moonlight but if you don't mind I'm not going to write that down uh, the nib is a medium 18 carat uh, and the ink is Omas Turquoise um, <clears throat> sorry I have a cold so sorry if I'm coughing a bit of course you notice that it's a, f a rather fine nib and it is a Japanese nib and typically as you may know uh, Japanese nibs are a grade finer than their Western counterparts, so a Japanese medium kind of writes like a Western fine. However, superb nib. Even though it's on the fine side, no scratchiness whatsoever, very nice, very smooth, very good flow. Um, do fast writing, no skips nothing and also yeah this was me uh, lifting up the nib it started up straight away as you could see so it, it's it's really I think in that regard it is a perfect nib perfectly tuned and I know it's very expensive but this is how it should be and this is how every nib should be and unfortunately they're not okay wetness it is a finer nib and as you can see it's not the world's wettest writer sometimes that's nice Line variation, a little bit to be had, but I have found this a fairly stiff nib. Reverse writing for those who like that. Bear in mind this is a fairly light ink. It does work. It is definitely scratchier uh, and it's in this case almost illegible. Maybe with a black ink or something it would work better. But there you have it. A very interesting, very beautiful pen and um, that's all there's to it. Guys, I hope this was useful. I'm going to give Aziza her pen bag before she kills me, and uh, that's all there's to it. I'm glad to see you later.